welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we're going to do an unboxing and this is the beer that I've got from The Fuss Club. Uh, they're a, an online retailer, they sell all kinds of beers, they've got quite a few new ones that I wanted to get hold of, I wanted to try um, in the month of February. So January, we pretty much had a fairly quiet January. Um, coupled with me trying to lose a bit of weight uh, and and drinking a bit less after the excesses of sort of December and Christmas um, so that went reasonably well but you know at the end of the day I really do miss having a beer um, I'm gonna so I wanted to buy some beers from the bottle shops this one I've got as I say from the Fuss Club and there will also be the beer 52 uh, beers that we'll be drinking um, so we're back on it full scale there'll be more music rankings there'll be more rock reviews as well but let's get this box open and see what we've got for february because there's some interesting ones in here and there's some ones that are literally brand new and there's some you know some some oldies oldies but goldies i would say um so let's get this box open um i've not ordered from the fuss club before i've been on their site and stuff so quite interested to see what we're going to get i quite like the fact that they've put a little I mean, we've got a little sticker there. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that, but there's a sticker. And look, it says a handwritten note. Hey, Martin, welcome to the club. Enjoy. There we go. And it's got my order there. Um, and it's, yeah, a bit of bump there, but quite nice. Fuss club, give them a try. Our beers are quite reasonable. And you get points as well, which is always good. And uh, so let's get these beers out. So first one first beer here this is a northern monk patrons and i just look, look at this look at this cover there looks really good so we check that one out that's called a northern monk patrons and what's the name of this one i think it's called uh can of whoop ass by a northern monk it's an australian double dry hop ipa it's coming in at 6.7 percent as i say the art artwork on that can is pretty spectacular a bit concerned because i did buy it. this one has been around for a while it was on to sale it's best before the 20th of, of february so i'll probably be drinking this one you know pretty soon actually so that's beer number one i'll put them there so you can see them move this box slightly out of the way and some of the bump out of the way there so hopefully you can see that I've got some strange light coming in because he doesn't know what he wants to do with the with the lighting. Next one, right? Okay, this one is by Wild Weather, and it is a banana milkshake IPA coming at five point five percent. So I thought, yeah, let's do something a bit different. Banana milkshake. I mean, you you know, as much as we've had some milkshake IPAs to sort of. You know, some have been all right, some have been pretty bad, some have been pretty good. Um, this one is a banana. You don't usually get banana uh, unless it's in a sort of stout. So I'm interested to see what this one's going to be like. Um, let's see this one best before September 21. So it's reasonably new. That's pretty good. That's that one there. A couple of different ones. Now, now this is the one that everyone's been trying to get hold of. This is a brand new, well, it's not. I say it's brand new. It's a putty. Um, and it's by um, Vedant. It's um, they they've rebrewed this one, so it's literally just come out. Um, and if I look at it, it's here. It was actually canned on the twelfth of January, so it's pretty much it's only like two or three weeks old. Um, and this is a double IPA coming at eight percent. It's got Mosaic Galaxy and a Zaka in it. Um, Everyone was saying this is the best beer that Vedanta have ever done. Um, and so they decided to rebrew it. They've done it last year, a couple of years in a row. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. And I found that the Fuss Club, main reason I bought from Fuss Club was because they had it in stock. Not the cheapest, I mean, it was about seven quid that one. So that's probably one of the most expensive ones in the box. Okay, so what else have we got here? Let's grab this one. Ah, another one from Vedant. This is just a pal out. It's called 300 Laps of Your Garden. I bought this one because it was on a special, I think, again. Yeah, I mean, this. I mean, it's not too. It's canned on the twenty sixth of October, best before the twenty sixth of uh, of April. But you know, this one cost me about two and a half quid, which for a Vedant is pretty damn good. So it's a Columbus and Mosaic on the hot side, and Mosaic Azaka Nelson Sorvin on the cold side. But you know, Vedant. It's been a while since I've had some Vedant, and they are always really good beers. So I'm sure that one, these ones, will be no different. 
Okay, so a new brewery here. This is Rivington. Now, one of my uh, subscribers mentioned Rivington because I think they were local to them. And I thought, well, when I can see them, because they don't seem to be, unless I'm going to buy directly from, uh, from them, I haven't seen these in my bottle shop, haven't seen these on the normal sort of online shops I buy. So I thought, oh, yeah, I saw one of them. I'll buy it. This is a called Exterior Illumination. It's a double dry hopped IPA at 5.8%. And another great thing about this is in a big 500 mil can which is always good i didn't even realize that this was going to be in a 500 mil can this is amarillo mosaic and simcoe so that's a new brewery for the channel next one right okay so we've got uh we've got a few cloud water because everyone says to me cloud water you haven't re you haven't reviewed any cloud water um this one is a soft fruiting bodies it is a New Zealand using New Zealand Cascade and US Cascade double dry hop IPA coming in at six percent. Um, and what's the f yeah? I mean, this one was a no of quite fresh one canned on the eighth of uh, December twenty twenty. Um, so that's a pretty damn a, a new one. Cloud Water. Everyone's saying that they're really great, and I've I've not had a Cloud Water before. So I think we've got a few of those, a few Cloud Waters in here. And yes, and this is the other one. So this one's just called a Soft and Juicy IPA. Um, this one's another six percenter. Uh, what's the hops in this one? Um, does it tell me the hops? No, it doesn't actually tell me what the hops are. Um, just says tropical fruit flavors, mango, pulp, and pineapple chunks is the aroma. Yeah, I think pretty damn good. This one, best before the 20th of uh, the 6th. So, yeah, this one's pretty quite new as well. But two cloud waters, I'm looking forward to those because I haven't had a cloud water before. Let's see what else we've got in here. Okay, this is by the another new brewery, Quantac Brewery. Um, the, to be honest, you know these got a re had a reasonable review on uh, on Untapped, and it's a New Zealand pale out, four point two percent, fairly low, so a bit lighter. This has got Diru Dr. Rudy, Muteka, Raku, Tayaki, and Waima. So they're very much the the New Zealand hops. Quite lots of different ones in there. Um, and, and got a bit, the main reason I bought this was that it was quite cheap. I mean, it, this was less than three quid, I think. So, you know, and I, I'm, I'm always looking for something that's a bit cheaper. Yes, I spent seven quid on the putty and that one's three quid, so that's not bad. Right, so. Um, I think where they've hidden all these beers in here. There, there's one. Okay, so we've got another a Polly's this month. So we we you know I know you know that I'm a big lover of Polly's. This is a fairly new one. This is called Does It Matter How Far? Double dry hopped, India Pale Ale comes in at seven point two percent. Yep, this was brewed again, canned in December. So brand new, pretty nice and fresh. That one's going to be. Always look forward to Polly's. Um, Right, I think that's pretty much it. I know we've got one more can here. So it's, a, it's a strange packed box. I'm trying to pull this one out. Yeah, that's the last of the beer. So it's another Quantac Brewery. This one's a New England IPA, uh, and it's coming at 6.3%. Great artwork. Look at that, nice and colourful. Uh, this is Amarillo Citra and Vic Secret. Uh, 6.3% as I said and it's a New England IPA one of my favorite styles so we've got there one two three four five we've got ten beers and I treated myself I've also got this this is a cloud water glass you can just about see the logo there it'll look better when it's got beer in it um, but it's a, a proper IPA glass that I've been wanting to get hold of for a while uh, two-thirds of a pint I think it's 40 something so it's pretty much going to be the the, the sort of level for most sort of normal size cans, but look at it. I mean, it looks spectacular. I love that sort of the style of it with the low, small bottom and the, the big top. So I'll get maximum enjoyment from my IPAs here. Um, as I say, there's a lot of IPAs here. We've got a couple of parallels. Yep, no stouts because you know. <sighs> when it's nearly spring. So, you know, I'm not doing some stats, but th this is my selection. We've got a Beer 52 uh, selection I'll be unboxing soon. So, this is the beers for February. Hope you enjoyed them. If you want to see the reviews of each of these and you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel so you'll get notified every time I release a new video. 
as I said, we've got some, I think the putty one is going to be quite interesting because it's brand new. Um, and I do love the Northern Monk, which it's been a while since I've had a Northern Monk. Let's move that glass out of the way. This Northern Monk one, um, yeah, I mean, it, it, with Australian hops and it's, I just love the artwork as well. Um, and it's also got although these patron products always have these uh, this sort of so you can open the whole artwork up like that get a good look at it and there's a uh, there's a lot of bump in the back there as well always like breweries that do that will put lots of information on their cans um, I think that more breweries should be doing it so gonna get these in the fridge now ready to be drink, drunk in February hope you enjoyed the video and as I said keep on rocking